What's up, you guys? So, excuse me, I'm trying to adjust the camera. Okay, so, apparently it was a cruel summer for somebody, okay? Somebody got rude awakening in this summer when they tried to play you, okay? You're coming up as the Empress, all right? Taurus, Libra energy. Okay, so, the first two cards I got out were the Empress and the Page of Pentacles, Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Libra energy. So, you're this empress here, okay? You were feeling something was off. So, you've been feeling something was off for a while now. And I got the song Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift. And so, what that was giving me is like, this is something that's um, happened over this summertime, okay? Possibly it started in, in the springtime. I keep getting that. Possibly April or somebody's name could be April or something started in April. But what started in April or during the springtime was that somebody here, oops, somebody here fell into temptation, all right, with the devil and the seven of cups. Somebody made you an option here. They kept you in confusion and they broke your heart. Well, now they are the one that's heartbroken, apparently. All right, so we got the king of wands coming out next with the muse of materials in this deck. Okay, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, justice has come for this person because of what they did to you over this summer. All right, so what I got when I say justice is coming is this person didn't want to make a choice here. And, and so it's like with the temperance card, balance is coming in this situation, all right? The Page of Cups, this person is feeling apologetic for whatever it is they've done for juggling you here with the Two of Pentacles, lying to you. This is over here with the Death card and the Tower, all right? Scorpio energy, Aries here, Cancer, Pisces, and I think I said Sagittarius. So that's what I got when I clarified the King of Wands. Then I got Justice, Libra energy with the Star, the Fool, the Page of Emotions, the page of voices, the muse of emotions, which is the king of cups. So there's two masculines in this energy, all right? So you got one masculine who's done something messed up to you over the past few months. There's another masculine here that's already got their eye on you, unless this is the same person here. Uh, but if it is the same person, then they're going to be in completely different energy here because... They were in this devil energy, like I said, keeping you in confusion, making you an option here. Had you in a three of swords, which is usually a third party situation. Could have been with a friend here with a page of pentacles. So what I'm getting here is either way, things are going to be going really good for you. Okay, so I don't know if that's going to be with this same person or somebody else, but wherever the case may be, things are looking good for you in business because you came up as the empress twice with the Empress at the bottom of this deck, I feel like that you you either already have some kind of business going here or you're going to be or you could be leveling up at your career, your job, whatever the case may be. So I got the so with the star, the fool, it's like you're taking a leap of faith towards your career here but as you do that like i said there is someone who is already watching you here gemini libra aquarius cancer pisces scorpio energy and this person i'm noticing that the if this is the two of cups and this is the page of cups this person is going to be somebody who's going to inspire you here really inspire you here and encourage you okay because it looks like that you've been through something really painful here recently um you could have been dealing with a narcissist here because i got the golden mirror card self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship and love bombing okay so basically this person had you in a third party situation with the devil card and the king of wands that were coming up as a narcissist okay that's what i'm getting so with the not today and separation, I do feel like there there's a separation and it could be this third party situation that's, you know, somebody has ended this third party situation and I don't think it was them. All right. So with the palm tree here, we got stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance and flexibility. So we're going to see if that's got anything to do with this person who was in this devil energy or if it's somebody else. I didn't see the Ace of Cups, so I'm not quite sure that it's somebody else yet. So, let's get another deck. I 
right, I'm going to get the Modern Witch Tarot. Wow. So at the bottom of the deck, we got the lovers here, Gemini Energy. This person made uh, some messed up choices. All right. So we got the Four of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. There could have been some kind of addiction going on here. Um, it could be addiction to, you know, having several options here or something like that. With the hang one here, Pisces energy, something is changing here. There's been, uh, it's like a divine intervention has happened here. With the Six of Swords, the Strength card, the Star, all this major arcana, it's like things are coming together here. Have patience, okay? Things are coming together here. Okay, so you got the badass being card. You got the uh, wild card here. You are a badass, full of life, love, and possibilities. Okay, whatever this was has ended here. There's some truth coming out about a situation here with the death card and the sun. Could be a cancer. I mean, a, well, it could be a cancer, but could be a... Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Gemini, Leo. I said Leo twice, so definitely could be a Leo. Um, also, double Scorpio here. This is somebody I feel like that came back from the past. Somebody that this person uh, had celebrations with, parties with in the past or whatever. And so, this person, instead of focusing on the two of cups here that they had with you, they were focusing on this three of cups from the past. So, we'll see where that's going to lead up to. So, with the four of cups, too. It's like this person missed the opportunity here to really have this Ten of Pentacles with you here with the Chariot and the Ten of Pentacles. With the Hermit and the Devil, this person could be going within. This person could have been holding back energy from you, money from you, okay? With the Fool and the Queen of Pentacles, this person is being... This person has put you through a lot of uh, sleepless nights, crying here. You could have a child with this person. Okay, so let's get some from the Curious Creatures deck. You guys, I'm sorry. I've been busy the past few days. I hope you had a good weekend. Sometimes I just have to take a break from all the crazy energy, you know. And excuse my nails. Like, I'm taking off my nails. I'm about to put on some new ones. I just got them. I'll have them on tomorrow. Okay, so with the Two of Cups here, King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is the person who was not focusing on these two cups here. They were focusing on these three cups here. So with the King of Swords and the Magician and the Ace of Cups, this person has a, <laughs> this person had a goal here, okay, that was probably, you know, unbeknownst to you with the moon here. With the Ace of Wands, they were trying to uh, connect with somebody else definitely in a, in a way that you probably wouldn't approve of. What are all these different cards in here? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. We're going to see what that's about. But, okay, so we got... Now, with the King of Swords, the Magician, the Ace, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, this person could be wanting to work on things, all right? Or... <laughs> this is very strange, okay? Hold on, y'all, hold on, y'all. Okay, so this was from another reading I did. So I'm going to put these cards to the side. Wait a second. Yeah. So basically with the cards to the side that I'm getting here, this person could definitely be either this person is a twin flame energy or you're going to be meeting one. If they are this twin flame energy, then what they were doing was basically focusing elsewhere so with the phoenix and not enough it's like you weren't enough for this person what they had with you wasn't enough for this person okay with the four of cups this person um like i said they missed the opportunity here something is not going to be successful for this person because of this 
there's a queen of wands energy here um who is no longer given to this situation she's no longer accepted so this karmic person who they were um who they had as an option is no longer um <laughs> She's no longer accepting a, she's not accepting a love offer. She's not accepting a passionate offer, okay? So this has this person in a tower at Nine of Swords energy. Okay. With the Nine of Wands here, this is a, this is a cycle that this person keeps on repeating. And... <laughs> Okay, wow, man. Okay, so we got the Knight of Pentacles. They keep slowing themselves down here with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio, the Three of Swords. They keep slowing themselves down with third-party situations. This person might have blocked them with the Seven of Wands, okay? Could have been a Leo here, or somebody found out something about them that caused them to block them. So now this person is feeling guilty about whatever this is, okay, that's come to an end. Okay, so let's see, let's see what's coming in, like. Okay, so Venus finally went back direct, y'all. So we got one planet that's not in retrograde anymore. We got the sun at the bottom of the deck. So more Leo energy, the high priestess, the king of cups, the page of pentacles. Okay, that's more of that um, energy of somebody giving to a situation here, possibly with someone they worked with or a, a friend or something like that. Okay, that cycle, the little, whatever cycle that was, has come to an end here with the three of cups in the world. The, the party's over. Okay, with the Six of Swords, this person is all up in their head. They're feeling bad about whatever it was they did. They're wanting to move out of this stressful energy, okay? And they want to apologize to you. They feel bad about this whole situation. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Wow. Okay, so you definitely could be married to this person or could have been married to this person, all right? With the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups, it's like y'all's energy is very different right now where this person is. If this is like, if these were reversed, this would be like a narcissist empath dynamic here because there's somebody who's really able to show their emotions and there's someone being cold here. Now, we do have the Queen and King of Swords, which is, you know, can be a married couple. With this High Priestess, I feel like the Queen of Cups is the third party. Could be a Leo with the sun here, or it could be just that, you know, this is coming to light. The reason why certain things weren't happening the way that they were supposed to happen here with the Knight of Pentacles, this person here, this third party, or, you know, your person allowing this third party in or going after this third party, whatever it is, um, they slow down things for your family, okay? Causing competition here, and it looks like it's at work, but like I said, there's justice with this situation. They're being judged in the spirit realm here. They're rethinking this whole situation, so there's balance coming in here. Uh, this person is going to try to restore um, the love, the passion between you, okay? Because they regret what they've done here with the Five of Swords. And they want to heal this marriage, all right, with the star. With the Nine of Cups, the Hierophant here, this definitely does look like a marriage unless you're a Taurus, okay, and Aquarius here. This is definitely a divine masculine energy here with the emperor. There's definitely been a tower moment that's happened here that's caused this person to have an epiphany and realize what they're doing here um, or something like that, you guys. So I don't know how far things went. Uh, okay, maybe they didn't go anywhere. Maybe it was just some friendship or something okay whatever it was i don't know y'all don't don't jump to any conclusions okay but if this is something you've already been feeling um this could be kind of a confirmation especially if this person 
you know, is trying to fix things, apologize or something like that. Okay, so let's get some from the Angels for the Modern Mystic. See yourself with loving eyes. So, if this is something that you found out about, this is something that definitely could cause a blow to your self-esteem and things like that, okay? Rediscover natural wonder. Seek answers within yourself. Yeah, so you are this person. With these two cards here, I'm getting that, you know, for some of you, you are going to rediscover, you know, some kind of wonder in your relationship or some kind of spark in your relationship but this is going to be after you go within or this person has gone within okay with that hermit somebody is really going within and being grateful for what they have okay they want peace here and something is ending like i said keep your prayers up stay true to your soul if this is something that you've been praying about then i feel like it's going to come out the way that you have prayed or whatever it was you did it's working all right so let's get some from the sacred forest purification yeah okay so with the air spirit knowledge here and love enlightenment definitely somebody has come to somebody's had an epiphany here about who it is that they love what it is they want to work on here okay they want this new beginning with you here, okay? Like I said, the Empress from the beginning of the reading. The truth is coming out about, you know, this chaotic spirit that was coming around your person or, you know, I don't know if that was the chaotic spirit. The truth is coming out about this situation. This is causing growth here with your family between you guys. This person is growing and this person wants to protect your relationship here in some kind of way. Um, so that's going to be up to y'all. Whether you decide to, you know, keep going with this or not. I do feel like that they are very apologetic about whatever it was that they fell into. So, yeah. Yeah with the ten of swords is over with so they may have been the one that put it into this okay with the king of swords gemini libra aquarius and the empress they put it into this because yeah it's not going forward here <laughs> they feel guilty about it all right so, like I said, either it's not something's not going forward because uh, this person made a choice or somebody else made a choice. Whatever the case is, this person is wanting to move forward with you, wanting your forgiveness here, and wanting to work on things here. So, you guys, take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't get too attached to these readings. It's just a general reading, all right? I'll be back in the morning uploading, and I'll try to get out a few tomorrow, you guys. If you want a personal, email me at lucaredtarot at yahoo.com. I'll be doing personals next week. Have a good one. Bye.